Remember the first time you stumbled upon that quirky 1964 TV series with the castaways? Maybe it was on a lazy Sunday afternoon or perhaps during a late night binge session. Whenever it was, Gilligan's Island has a knack for leaving a lasting impression. This classic show with its tropical island setting and mismatched group of survivors is a timeless source of laughter, shocks, and even a few somber moments. The escapades of the skipper, the professor, Ginger, Mary Ann, and of course, Gilligan himself are filled with unexpected twists that keep you hooked episode after episode. Do you recall your initial encounter with these castaways and their misadventures? Or maybe there's a cherished memory attached to the show, a moment that brings a smile to your face. Share it with us, we'd love to hear your stories. As you continue watching, be prepared for funny anecdotes, surprising facts, and perhaps a few moments that tug at your heartstrings. The island life may seem carefree, but Gilligan and his companions have more in store for you than meets the eye. Now it's over to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic TV series? Share your stories and thoughts in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. Keep watching for more fun, shocks, and nostalgia. Gilligan's Island is often seen as one of the campiest TV shows embodying a stereotypical portrayal of diverse societal archetypes. The cast includes characters representing various facets of our community, such as the working individuals, the intellectual, and the affluent. While some criticize the show's premise and plots, others fondly remember it as a form of low comedy, providing a lighthearted escape. The series, although often deemed silly, serves a purpose in offering a dose of humor that resonates with certain audiences. Some appreciate the charm and the absurdity, finding amusement in unconventional elements like the professor's ability to create devices from limited resources, but struggling to build a simple boat. Additionally, the show's appeal lies in the constant influx of eccentric guest characters, ranging from cosmonauts to rock groups, contributing to its unique charm. While it may not be hailed as a classic on par with shows like Seinfeld or Frasier, Gilligan's Island occupies its own distinctive place in television history. Despite its perceived shortcomings, the show has left its mark on popular culture, offering a form of entertainment that, for some, is a nostalgic reminder of the humor found in the simpler things in life. The postscript of the show reveals some challenges faced by cast members, such as the impact on Ginger's career and the varied paths of the actors after the series concluded. Despite its polarizing nature, the show remains a cultural touchstone, providing a unique perspective on entertainment during its time. Amidst the tropical misadventures on the deserted island, lesser-known facts add layers to the charm of Gilligan's Island. Gilligan's Radio, a lifeline to the outside world, tunes into Coconut Boogie, a lively number performed by Jim Shipman and the Shipwrecks. The catchy beats echo through the island, providing a rhythmic backdrop to the castaways' daily struggles. The professor's ingenuity is evident in his makeshift inventions and his academic background adds depth. He claims degrees from various universities, including a BA, BS, and PhD, showcasing a blend of intellect and resourcefulness. His education becomes a subtle nod to the diversity within the group, highlighting that even on a deserted island, knowledge and expertise remain valuable. Interestingly, the role of Gilligan almost took a different turn. Jerry Van, for reasons unknown, declined the opportunity to portray the lead character. This decision reshaped the dynamics of the show, leaving us to wonder how the series might have unfolded with a different actor in the lead role. As we navigate through the quirks of the show, these details paint a nuanced picture of its appeal. The infectious tunes, the professor's academic prowess, and the alternate casting decision all contribute to the depth of this classic series. It's a testament to the show's ability to surprise and engage, keeping audiences hooked beyond the surface-level comedy. And so, the castaway's journey on the island continues, fueled by coconut beats, academic credentials, and the quirks of casting decisions. What other hidden gems lie within this timeless TV series? Tune in, and you might just discover more surprises beneath the palm trees. During the development of Gilligan's Island, the creators thought about bringing in a new character, a pet dinosaur. However, because it would cost a lot to create the special effects, they decided not to go through with it. Interestingly, this dinosaur idea ended up in the animated spin-off, Gilligan's Planet. In one episode of the third season, Gilligan wore a wizard robe in the Lovey's Secret Admirer episode. Surprisingly, the same robe appeared later in a Star Trek episode called Catspaw, worn by a character named Korob. 
It's unclear if the robe was shared between studios or if it was copied because they liked it, but it created a curious connection between the two shows. Tina Louise, who played Ginger, had a specific rule in her contract. She wanted to be the last one credited, which affected the opening sequence. This led to the well-known The Movie Star and the rest line. Bob Denver, not happy with this, protested by refusing to participate in production until Louise's request was granted. After some negotiation, the credits were changed, making it a crucial moment in TV history. These behind-the-scenes details add more layers to the story of Gilligan's Island, showing the challenges and decisions made by the people involved. The show's journey, with dropped ideas, shared wardrobe items, and contract talks, gives an interesting view into its history. As the 1964 TV series Gilligan's Island prepared to debut, its creator Sherwood Schwartz faced a unique challenge, crafting a fitting theme song. The result was the Ballad of Gilligan's Island, narrating the character's shipwrecked fate. This choice added a storytelling layer to the opening credits, setting the tone for the island misadventures that awaited viewers. The picturesque island showcased in the credits, nestled in Kano Bay, Hawaii, is a real location, about a mile off Oahu. This tangible backdrop lent authenticity to the show's tropical setting, enhancing the viewer's experience of the castaway's struggle for survival. Within the ensemble of seven castaways, the skipper is notable for occasionally breaking the fourth wall, addressing the audience directly. Surprisingly, Ginger, the glamorous movie star, also shares this occasional direct engagement with the camera. This unique narrative choice adds a touch of humor, particularly after her failed attempts to kiss the main character, leaving viewers with a shrugged acknowledgement. Behind the scenes, the show faced interesting development decisions. The creators initially toyed with the idea of introducing a pet dinosaur, but abandoned the plan due to budget constraints. The notion, however, found its way into the animated spin-off Gilligan's Planet. In a curious crossover, a wizard robe worn by the main character in a third season episode reappeared in a Star Trek episode titled Catspaw, worn by a character named Korob. The shared wardrobe item adds a surprising connection between these seemingly disparate shows. Tina Louise, who portrayed Ginger, held a unique contractual demand to be the last one credited. This negotiation led to the famous The Movie Star and the rest line in the opening sequence. Bob Denver, discontent with this decision, temporarily halted production until a resolution was reached, underscoring the challenges faced by the cast and crew. These behind-the-scenes glimpses, from dropped ideas to shared wardrobe items and contract negotiations, enriched the narrative of the TV show. Each choice, whether on screen or off, contributed to its distinctive place in television history, offering viewers a mix of comedy, surprises, and a touch of the unexpected.